Where our passion is for the future. Once again, welcome to VML1. If you're here just to see this match and maybe possibly for the Ignite Awesome Burners later, welcome. But if you're here once again, uh, good to see you again. Uh, today we have Solar P with me instead of Dim Wee. I, I I I can I can speak. <laughs> Do a little bit of rhyming, even though I'm not the the best at it. Nonetheless, with me today, I've already kind of said it. Um, I'm JG. I'm casting with me. As a uh, co-caster, I got Solar P, or Spooky P, on uh, Discord. I like that <laughs> username, Solar. And on the uh, sidelines, we got Glean. And obviously, on the Oh So Amazing cams, we have so much for subtle T. But uh, Solar P, how are you doing today, bud? Doing amazing. And for one of the uh, first casting matches this week, for me at least, uh, it's a good one. The next one will also be a good one, but I won't be joining. Uh, I won't be joining the people in this channel with us uh for the next one which is ignite burners an amazing match uh won't actually secure them in challenger cup because both of them won their top four teams and they won't be put in challenger cup because it's uh the top two bottom uh bottom two teams in master and uh this team both of these teams actually are seeding for uh challenger cup right now so some matches to look for and jg what do you think what do you think that's going to happen in this match honestly hmm I don't know, but I'm going to speak of Dimoy. Put in your points. I want to see as many points as you had. If you spent a lot right. on the previous game, I don't care. 30 seconds left. Do it now. I want to see that. I know Dimoy's going to say you're copying me. I don't care. Put your channel points in. Get more and more. I want to see all of your guys' points on these matches. Or, 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 yes, save it on Ignite. Or at least put a little bit. I, I want to see a little bit more points on. So come on, I'm I'm gonna be really upset if you guys if you don't. I'm gonna you be guys gotta to profit be... off this game to then <laughs> spend more points on the ignite game, guys. Thank think you. about it. Thank you, Glee. Yes. Thank you. You he has you a speak fair point. the facts. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, someone logical here. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, as we are gonna be getting that round one start up, Solar P. Uh, first round against, uh, the, uh, oh, I don't know which team, because there's, uh, why, why don't you tell which teams these are, uh, Dorothy? 
Bangarang is on orange. Florida Laser Sharks is on blue. And Florida Laser Sharks, speaking of the devil, are going to be winning on this Joust Chuck. Saying this one over to Venom. Venom getting heavily pressured by that stack from uh, Light is Coming Wet Talk over the side of Bangarang. Clear gets made through this tunnel. Big Bot looking at a shot from the open lane. Flash. And that's a. Yeah, splash, like you said. And that'll be three points. First three points to Bangarang. What a start. Only 16 seconds. And that is going to be a three pointer for Big Bot. Bot. Not so much of a bot in this game as uh, <laughs> he's going to make a pretty good impact at this start. Let's see how the Florida Laser Shark respond in their first shot advantages. It will be Will I Am coming at, uh, with that slap off to Chuck Not Norris. Down to Venom and down to Blitz. And Blitz wow. is going to get a seven second two pointer. Solar P, what a response. That was a w very quick. You're going to see it from these kind of players because. This is the tippy top of Diamond, so great passing, just great relay play, just in general. Now we two points, a one point lead there to Bangarang still in the lead. So it will be right rough to QB for Bangarang, saying this one to that is Wet Taco. Wet Taco going to just slow this one down, send this one low to uh, Big Bot. Big Bot now opting in for the back pass just to slow this play down. Will be right rough. Gonna take it a little bit slow. Check the Norris trying to contest, but it will pass down to Big Bot. Big Bot will get that sent down to the cut pass to Wet Taco, but Will I Am will make that a uh, save. Oh, I know if Dimly was here, probably say um, Iron Wall is Will I Am is, is what I've heard. Uh, I, I Dimly could probably correct me on that later on, but it will be Will I Am passing it down to Chuck Not Norris, Chuck Not Norris making a reset back down to Will I Am, and it will be taking a little bit slow as that will be Blitz with the pass. Potentially oh. going to Chuck Nut Norris, but it will be a miss. Chuck Nut Norris will get that uh, popped up, but it will be Light as Come sending that down through the tunnel. Now bouncing around at the floor area. Now bouncing around. Still loose. Big Bot looking for this offense. Maybe a cut over to Wet Taco. And they do. Wet Taco from Big Bot. What a shot. 58 seconds into that. And that's going to be pointing for the side of Bangarin. Bangarang, excuse me, as they are going to make a loud noise, aka a bang, making an influence. Let's see what they can do as the Florida Laser Sharks once again will have that just advantage pass to Chuck Knight Norris doing a little bit of dipsy doodles on that Geo as it will be passed down to Venom taking this slow, trying to find a connection. Venom taking the slow now and across to Will. Will. Looking for his options, sends this one four to Chuck. Now, not all the members, as soon as I say that, are now getting open. Blitz sending this one back over to Chuck. Chuck walking this one in back over to Blitz, but oh, just an unfortunate mishandle there. But uh, Blitz trying to get this one over to Will. Will sending a, a cross pass over to Venom. Venom over to Chuck, and that's some amazing passing, amazing <laughs> placement there from Chuck and the whole team of Florida Laser Sharks. What a pocket. I couldn't stick my head through that hole. Oh my <laughs> I always think that I could just shove my head in there, but I think that was an amazing pocket. An amazing shot just in general is that it's going to be a one point difference. That uh, three pointer made by Big Bot at that first, uh, at the beginning of this game really helped them as it is not tied. It is a one point lead as it will be Blitz with that possession. Going to be taking a little bit slow. Going to send that down through. That is going to be an Ooh. unfortunate bounce. It will be right rough, making that send through, as nobody will be able to catch it, and it will be onto the possession of uh, Lightest Come. It will get stunned out, and Chuck Norris will be there, but not seeing what Taco wow. and slipping through will be the Taco itself, making that three point lead once again for the side of Bangor. Six minutes, well, around six minutes left remaining. Seven to four, a uh, back and forth match so far, but uh, Bangering. Really coming out right now with a three-point lead, still, still very possible. Very, and I mean very. It's six minutes. Three points is not even that much, especially for these teams. They can easily start getting mercies, or maybe even just a point conversion. Oh. And that's a point conversion right there. Blitz one, two, three, zero. I mean, Solar for at least this first round it has been back and forth. Yeah. Both sides have been responding with the gold on the side. Um. I mean, I, I gotta go back to the start of Season 4. Florida Laser Sharks started off rough, and they have built their way back up, 
and they are trying to find themselves into CC to prove themselves worthy as it oh, will be Venom with that interception. Venom will get that sent down through. Nobody on the side of the defense. Chuck and Norris trying to go for that shot, but it will be Ryruff. Gonna get that stun through. Double stun, Ryruff. Gonna send that down to Wet Taco, but that will be bounced through. Nobody with the possession, and it will stay on midfielder as uh, midfield, excuse me, as Chuck and Norris will get that sent down through. As that is a potential foul shot. Oh, oh, oh. It will go a little bit out as Ryruff will be there for the possession. Ryruff now looking for the clear cross tunnel. That was a very bold clear. Stacks are up though. Big Pot looking for a big shot, but unfortunately not able to get that one uh, at least near the goal or in the bubble. It hits off that nugget. A Geo. A wet Taco opting in for the back pass. It said Big Bot. Big Bot now on the back line, just slowing this one down. They're only up by one. They could easily make a conversion. With a stunning that's going on right now from Ryruff, it's. They can break through this defense if they can, but Big Bot still holding this one, maybe looking for a cross pass, light, light, same side pocket shot, 17 meters a second, and that'll be eight two. Again, just a, after that first uh, two-pointer, it's just been uh, two-pointer on two-pointer on two-pointer on two-pointer. So, um, th this is a very close game. I, I could not tell you which team could bring this through. I mean, uh, for the side of Florida, Leicester Sharks, they have yet to uh, have a point lead, as that's going to be a nice uh, pass from Chuck Net Norris to Venom. As Venom will slowly ease oh. through, Venom will just take it slow, oh take my. it through. Venom going to go for the oh slam dunk, no. and Big Pot will have that big technical, as that will be a self goal, unfortunately. But that will be another two point for the side of Florida, Leisure Sharks, and again. Uh, instead of a three-point uh, lead for the side of Bang uh, Bangarang, it will be that one-point lead. So let's see if the Florida Leisure Sharks can break this streak, or will they respond with the point themselves? Uh, what I'm, what I keep on seeing from Bangarang, and it seems to also work. Let's talk walking this one in a cross pocket <laughs> shot, and a re really great shot. But like I was saying, what I've been seeing it is a lot of tunnel plays or relays from Bangarang still working in their favor. But I think uh, Florida Leisure Sharks just needs to kind of adjust their uh, play style to bangering right now but still a three-point lead let's see if they can gain the lead for fuller laser sharks yeah thank you so much as will be venom gonna make that pass that is so i gotta say that is something i've never seen before so kudos for them for doing something a little bit different it will be a ryroff on that backfield uh able to intercept that as will be uh passed down to light is come light is come uh trying to pass it down through potentially an interception but check Norris will get that stun mm -hmm. out as it will be sent down through, but it will be Big Bot with a possession on the backfield, potentially finding for another connection as we pass to Light is Come. Light now juking around on the table and uh, he's not getting stunned, but like last second, as soon as he released it, he got the, uh, the stun came through, but back pass there to Will I Am. Will I Am over to Chuck. Chuck moving this one up, looking for the cross low pass to Venom. Great passing from Floyd Laser Sharks. They're, they're one of those teams, like Kangorillas, like the the diamond of the, the diamond tier of Kangorillas, oh. they're passing is just amazing. But again, the defense from Bangarang have just been stopping their offensive power, but off the back oh, one, no. no! What a save there from Big Bot and a slap out of the zone. Two minutes left on the clock. That is gonna be a huge save as Blitz will get that, uh, that uh, slap out, but it will be Wet Taco setting that oh, down no. through, but that is gonna ding off of the goal. Ryro puts the possession, going to go for that cross pass as the light has come. It will be there, gonna be on t on the Geo, getting inverted, passing it to Wet Taco. Wet Taco making a <laughs> reset down to Ryro, taking it slow, trying to find a connection as it will be passed right back down to Light has come. As come passing it down to Big Fight, oh, will no. not be there. Almost Wet Taco could have done that slap off, but it will be sent down through. Wet Taco gonna wow. go for the shot. And that broke the streak of it all. And that will be, instead of a three-point lead, a five-point lead for the side of Bangarang with a minute of 16 left on the clock. I, I think that one of the short plays that they do, or even a, a quick play, it, it still could work it does, as long as they can get downfield and, like, and the shovel play comes through. Back up to Blitz. Blitz looking to send this one through, but uh, not able to get there to Chuck. Chuck losing a bit of handle on that, but Blil... Trying to send this one low to Venom, I believe, but unfortunately, uh, the, the Geo no was just way. in the way. Taking the shot. Oh, no. That was almost on. That would have been very, very good. Capping off that, but no. It will be Wet Taco. Setting this one to the ceiling to Ryruff. Ryruff going to juke around. Dipsy do, but hitting the post of the goal. And Chuck regaining this disc and clearing this through. We'll be bounced down through. The re will not be there, but it will uh, be Ryruff a little bit later. Able to find that as Venom will try and attack... Uh, 
that uh, back stack is that's going to be 26 seconds left that is going to be at a mathematical time but let's see if that momentum can be uh, struck for the side of uh, photo laser sharks as any point can help them through that's going to be some stunning some fumbling and some dog fighting as Ryberoff will get that slap out reset down to let us come let us come going to try and send that down through to make a bounce pass into the goal Five seconds left. Let's see if they can do it. Right rough down. Oh, wow. <laughs> Put in the seal and deal. And that is going to be the first round for the side of Bang. Right? 15 to 8. Lean, talk to me. Man, this game is intense and it is full of surprises here. I mean, both these teams are going at it back and forth, back and forth, scoring as many points as they possibly can. And you can tell that the intensity of this game is immense for both teams. Uh, this has big implications for that Challenger Cup that's coming up soon. So they want to take this win because not only does it disrupt seating for them, uh, or taking a loss disrupt the seating for them, but it disrupts it for a lot of other teams. As uh, we can see some members of the chat saying over here on the side. So um, a huge game here tonight. Uh, and certainly you can tell that it's getting to them. Some of these plays are a little bit rushed. Some of the shots are a little bit rushed. And you can tell uh, that things are very, very intense out there on the field. But... Uh, some great plays coming out here from Bangarang. You can tell they love going to the backboard. These cut passes are excellent, but the Florida Laser Sharks, like Solar mentioned, have also had these great passes inside the bubble. The Kang, or the, uh, yeah, the Kang of the Diamond Tier, I believe you tried to call. And yeah, they I would absolutely recognize that fact. So a uh, great play here from both sides. Excited for the second round. Yeah, some really amazing gameplay from both of these teams. I mean, it's... It's a diamond tier, and you're going to experience some very well gameplay coming to, uh, well, VRML 1, VRML 2, VRML 3. You're going to be experiencing some, some amazing gameplay from all these teams, no matter you're in bronze or you're in master. You're going to get some form of good gameplay, and the Nutri Jouse will be coming. Yeah, thank you for that, Glean, for the sideline and the analysis. Chris will be there. Very strong blitz. Gonna oh. get the bounce pass. Uh, I think that was an open three for a little bit, yeah. but the uh, connection was not there, unfortunately. So that's going to be bouncing close to the goal. Who can be there first? Ryruff will be there. Potential three pointer, but it'll be oh. Chuck, not Norris, <laughs> saying no, thank you. As it will be passed down to Will I Am. Gonna try and send that down through for the long <laughs> shot on the tunnel. But no, it'll be Venom with the three pointer. 33 seconds, and that is their first three pointer of this game. Venom coming out strong as they now have the first time in forever that three point lead. Uh, pretty much all uh, all these players in this game, you pretty much never, ever, and I mean never, want to give these people open lanes because 90, well, not 90, probably like 60 or 75% of the time, they're most likely going to make it because these players are experienced and they know what they're doing. What Taco knows what he's doing, and he's shooting a bottom pog at 17 meters a second, quickly responding in nine seconds time. Yeah, that is still going to be a point lead for the side of Florida Laser Sharks. That's what three pointers can be monumental at times. That point can make or break a game. So if uh, Bangarang can't make a three pointer, then that could be the thing that helps them the most. That's going to be a nice uh, start for the side of the Florida Laser Sharks. Some great plays as well. I am. We'll be there for the possession. Sending it down through. Nobody will be there. Maybe not. Will be Chuck Not Norris with the possession at first. Potentially going oh, no. for the pass, but Big Bot with the interception. Yeah, great grab there. Some great defense from the side of uh, Bangarang as Ryruff <laughs> wow. headbutts it into a self pass. Takes a shot. Oh. An 8 meter 2 that's so unfortunate, but quickly responding in 24 seconds after the disc gets on their side and right back on Florida Laser Strike's side. So, yeah, just great, great just shot and headbutt there from Ryruff. <laughs> <laughs> that was I, questionable, but it worked. I mean,. <laughs> Uh, if it works, it works. That's going to be sent down to Chuck Nitt North. Start of it. Starting on the left station. Is that's a Geo. Uh, we like to give those names. We give a lot of names to Geos as um, uh, we like to just identify it so you can give passes to certain areas. As it will be but send that down through Chuck Nitt North. Oh, no. Potentially having that open three. But will get stunned out by a member of Bang Rangs. That's going to be reset. White Taco with the possession. Almost, but Big Bot will be there. Potentially a, could get a three-pointer, oh, but no. Blitz with the steal. And Blitz unable to make a uh, pointer as there will be the uh, a goalie, uh, Ryan Ruff. But uh, we'll take it slow and make it reset to Chuck Knight Norris. Chuck now on the back line uh, around mid-area. Just going to slow this one down, only down by one. With seven minutes left remaining, 
probably the easiest comeback that they can make. <laughs> it's a one point deficit, so he's just gonna dipsy do sound below the goal to Venom. Venom looking to walk this one into Blitz, and he snake eyed that. He looked at the goal and he passed it to Blitz. That was that was just an amazing play there from Blitz and Venom. So that'll be a one point lead there to the side of Florida Laser Sharks. Okay, what's that one game where, where there's a rule about no snake eye? It was a what child game. I'm, I'm thinking of four squares, maybe. There's one game where it said no snake eyes. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's where <laughs> That was a great... You brought back memories, uh, Solar. <laughs> I, I, You're welcome. It, I day, oh god, I'm only 18, but I feel like an old man! <laughs> As that will be sent down through, Chuck the Norris with the interception, gotta get that all the way sent down through, potentially go, that could have almost been a three-pointer if that was positioned correctly, but it would be light as come on that fast stack, able to find that catch, as Chuck, uh, Will I am, excuse me, will be there, Blitz almost getting oh. the interception, but won't be there, as that is not gonna be a read from the side of Florida Laser Sharks, that could be big, a little bit slow, but it will uh, be right up with the possession. Going to be potentially going for a solo shot. And it was oh slam dunk. And that will be a point lead for the side of Bangarang. Yeah, we're just going to be seeing these uh, back and forth tradings from both of these teams. I mean, with six, well, pretty much six minutes left remaining. We're around five minutes, 30, 35, whenever the timer goes down. We're going to see some trading because it's six to five. is that one point deficit. And honestly, those are the most intriguing games because you never know if one team is just going to respond with a three like almost immediately which they have the lane right now but no immediately covered walking this in and again the trading like i said now i'm just going to call it either floor laser strikes is going to get a three or a two here or bang Rain is going to spawn with another uh two point what well, was another two points or three points uh keeping that one point deficit I, mean, I i gotta say is that that was a phenomenal response from the side of the floor laser sharks sent from uh, uh don't got it was right with big bob but we'll be on the back end right off will be there one again uh sending that down through to wet taco wet taco on the back end gonna make a re uh, semi reset more of a cross pass to ride rough right rough down to big bob oh and that will be a big shot as that'll be a bounce shot at uh Eight meters, or sorry, four meters away, eight meters per second, and 18 seconds uh, of a response, 18, a little, a little bit uh, longer, but it will be another point lead for the side of Bangarang. This is the training that I wanted to see. Where the Laser Sarks are still in this game. They have got a long way before they are going to go down. That three-pointer has helped them a tremendous amount, a little bit of a... Of a uh, fifth, a little, it's like Wednesday right now. It's a little bit of an opposite day, but an opposite round is that's going to be a reset down to Chuck Nut Norris. Chuck now slowly moving this one up, juking around on the Pac Man block, but unfortunately loses a hand on it. It looked like he tried to spin around again, but unfortunately that defense will dive out for that. Fortunately for Bangarang, they get the clear made. It gets down Ooh. into the bubble shot oh. there from Wet Taco, and that's, that's something you can't do. That's breaking up. Now one point deficit unless Florida Laser Sharks responds with a three. That that was almost that could have almost been a two pointer and that could have been a heartbreaker for the side of Bang Ring because they've had an eight meter two and they've had an eight meter three. That could have easily have happened again. But we bet them. On the back stack, gonna do a little bit of stacking here. That bounce will not be clear, but William will be there on the possession. Gonna cross pass it down to Blitz, but it will be right rough with the stun and with the send down to Wet Taco. Honestly, uh, the Florida Laser Sharks and uh, uh, previously Wireless Jacks without uh, Chuck Nut Norris has the, it's their Wireless Jacks plays has been integrated into Florida Laser Sharks, and honestly, they have the most creative plays probably in the league right now because they. They have one where the back stack, they pass to the back stack, which is like right next to boot. It's insane. They have like a dribble play. Like they have like a whole bunch of plays no and the, the no. shot trying to make the play. Wet Taco trying to get that one in, but now Venom here with possession. It will be Venom passing it down to Blitz. Blitz almost having that open three as uh, Ryroff actually leaving the tube and coming back to boost on the backfield as Blitz will send that down to Chuck Net Norris. Chuck Net Norris passes it down to Venom. Venom unable oh. to read that as Wet Taco will get that 360 uh, slap off as it will be into Big Bot's hands and oh, no. not a big shot there as uh, it won't be sent through but it will be a reset to Ryrob. 
Briar off now going to anchor on the star block. Send this one across to Wet Taco. Wet Taco looking for a pass over to Lightest Come. Lightest Come just going to be on the ceiling inverted. Going to try to bait out the defender, uh, Venom covering uh big ball right now so great defense here but are they gonna can they break through it no shot goes off the marks and big bot juking around trying to look for a big dunk but unfortunately won't be able to get that one so will since went over to blitz blitz taking their time to try and find something that will be bad well, i won't say bad but just a <laughs> big it slowed it down but chuck norris will be there for the possession at an open opportunity for a three but will potentially go for a solo a little bit of oh, dipsy wow. through there as will be Venom with the possession, going to be taking it slow as uh, trying to find a connection. They have a minute and a half left. They need to start. They need to make a shot right now if they want to respond. I mean, if they, even if they make a three-pointer, they're still going to be uh, one point uh, uh, behind. But it will be a cross pass on the floor. Cross pass once again. Ping pong. Will I am passing it down to Blitz? Blitz setting it oh, through. Wow. Double oh, finger. Oh, oh. But it will be sent out through. A light has come. We'll get that slap through onto the tunnel. Big bot. Oh. Potentially almost there, but oh. it will be a little bit too high. That was so unfortunate. The, the, the double ding. I, I I rarely get those now. But like with Challenger Cup pretty much on the line, it's 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 hard to see that happen. But big bot across. Over to Wet Taco. Wet Taco now on the floor. Going to be juking around. Saying this one back over to Big Bot. With 40 seconds left remaining. Ooh. That stack. Oh my. That stack. What? Like caught Big Bot off guard. The Blitz. shot. Was in. Blitz. Oh, off the post. It's so unfortunate to see a, a double dinger from Blitz. Too I believe. But then it's clearing this one through. 25 seconds. That will be the match. In the bag to Bang Rang. Will looking for the clear. And put a pass up to Blitz. Unfortunate. That could have that could have just sealed the deal and brought it to a third round, but the Laser Sharks breaking up a little bit. Chuck didn't know it's potentially gonna maybe go for another shot. Give it to him. Come on. That's not gonna make a change. But Blitz try to send that down through, but it will be big butt. Saving it! But saving the day is lean once again. This unfortunate match. Talk to me. You're muted, by the way. <laughs> I was hey. muted. I was muted. Very fun fact. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, unfortunate. It was unfortunate just because down the line, um, Florida Laser Sharks were just not able to execute at the last moment. Uh, that couple of shots just going wide uh, with not only the double ding that was aforementioned, but also the long three that couldn't quite connect. Uh, both were critical opportunities for uh, Florida Laser Sharks to score and turn this one around, but unfortunately just could not get it. Um, in addition, you know, we were looking at a lot of the plays that were going on throughout the rounds, and both these teams, while having great defenses in the midfield, it was just the defenses for both teams that took over inside the bubble, really were able to break down their opposing defense and get a lot of scores, and that's why you see uh, you know, these teams trading back and forth so easily. It seems like they've either played each other a lot or scrimmed each other a lot because they knew how to get inside of the bubble and really get to one another to score those points. So a phenomenal game. And, uh, you know, you love to see these teams go all out, especially when uh, there's big implications on the line, like that Challenger Cup coming up in just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's what we see from the sidelines. Back to you guys on the caster desk. Yeah, that was... Uh... <laughs> solar, solar. <laughs> <That's not good. laughs> uh, yeah, that was an amazing, amazing match. Honestly, that was some great gameplay from both of these teams, and honestly, bangering pretty much secure. Yeah, yeah, they actually are. They secured themselves in the Challenger Cup. Uh, unless, well, yeah, yeah, they secured themselves because they have one more match, and uh, even if they lose, they're still going to be able to get in that Challenger Cup, which is really good. They they have a chance to get in Master, replace uh, one of the two bottom teams, but. Yeah, some uh, Florida Laser Sharks. I think they have one more match, and if they if they don't win that, be in Challenger Cup. But some amazing gameplay tonight, and we're gonna have one in at the top of the hour, I believe, or is it now? It is in three minutes. But actually, that was our Florida Laser Sharks' last game. Oh, that was, that was it. I think that that. Uh... I think they're still in. I think I think they're in, like like the bottom though. I I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I, I don't yeah, know we'll on the top of my head, we'll but what I, what I do know is on the top of my head is this next game. The only team so far who has taken, has taken, took a round <laughs> off of Ignite 
Uh, we've got Dimwi on that cast. I want to see all of your points. As soon as we get that projection pull up, I want to see all of your points through. But we will be in a short intermission. It will be Bangarang taking this into an unfortunate feat. But for us, Laser, Laser Shark still doing a great job. But we will see you guys in a little bit. Solar P will be leaving us. But thank you so much. I will be on sidelines. And it will be Glean and Dimwi on the cast. But we'll see you in a few. Where our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future.
And welcome back, everybody, to one more here on Channel One tonight. I am on Sid and we joined once again now by Glean. Uh, and we ha still have JG is going to be on the sidelines for us here uh, in this, uh, well, highly anticipated matchup, Ignite versus the Austin Burners. As uh, <laughs> you, know, you see the, the tablet there popping up, he's got to turn that off over on that screen there. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, this. Uh, so what's really exciting about this matchup, the Austin Burners, Ignite has only given up one round this season, Glean. And that round was against the Austin Burners back uh, in a week. Uh, oh, I had it up. I think it's uh, week five uh, of, of the first cycle there. That is the only round that Ignite has given up all season. And yeah, this this Austin Burners team, I've seen some talk uh, from Ignite players. I think it was Rocks Titan, maybe. Uh, and I'm sure he's in the chat if he wants to correct me on this. Uh, but let's say that Austin Burners kind of have it out for the Ignite. They've been the one team that have really made it difficult for Ignite this season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to say Ignite has been dominant over the past, you know, three, practically four seasons now as we're wrapping up this one, has just been, is is the worst understatement you could make in all of Echo, basically. Um, they have just been on an absolute rampage, and the fact that we are now seeing some semblances of teams that are able to catch up to them and perhaps take rounds and possibly even games come finals time off them, is not only super heartening to see, but also super exciting as things pick up in intensity. And now we get to see these all out matches between these two teams uh, and a back and forth. And surely uh, this will, well, I say surely, but you know that there's always the presence of the caster's curse, but hopefully this one will be a fantastic match where we'll see uh, perhaps another round taking off Ignite and perhaps even uh, them push to their limits here. Perhaps indeed, as it sounds like both teams have readied up, we are going to get started here in round one. We have Ignites on the left in orange game. Jay Walker, Ryan, and Kung, and of course, Austin Burners on the right there in blue. Chrome, Swag War, the Law, Mozzie, that will be. The Austin Burners getting a headbutt on that joust. Looks like Ignite went ahead and set up on defense, and it will pay off as Ryan is going to get that one picked up, sent out all the way down into the blue zone here, but immediately turning back over the law, getting it picked up, looking to clear it out, does get it through, but a quick chain there. Oh no, an even quicker chain, Ooh. Austin Burner's getting possession here, Mozzie with it, looking to send it out. Uh, yeah, now ops for the reset back here to Swagwar, and Swagwar just gonna back this one out to the law, so now they force that stack up to them, Swag hand and just sends it across to Mozzie, they pull that defenders, oh, the save there for the headbutt by Kong. Uh, Swagwar now gonna take this one and send it on a reset once again, the law, the law, trying to find it, oh, oh. but Kong leads it like a book and sends it right back out. These teams are playing on another level lock shot here. No, send up Mozzie. Oh, but goal Ooh. hits it for the three. Austin Burners are getting the first goal here in this game in round one, getting a three on the board there. And also chat, one, where is everybody? Get your friends in here. Two, if we don't hit 100K on this uh, on this uh, this prediction poll, if we don't hit 100K total investment on bo in both teams here, right now we're at, what, 77 plus seven? That's, uh, what, 84-ish, 85? Almost. If we don't hit 100K, you guys are not committed as Ignite is out here on this Jouts advantage. Handled here, who is that game on the near side? Is going to press send that one up. Defense playing exceptionally aggressive here from the Austin Burners. You know they're feeling good right now. As game is at the edge of the bubble, looking to bring this one in, juking around, sending it. Oh, big Ooh. stop there, Mozzie gets it cleared. Already depends. The, the, sorry, the, uh, the intensity of this game and the speed of it is so, so quick. Now Ryan handling this one as it did get cleared down here, the orange side, able to get it back to Kung, and Kung gonna forward this one up, has Jay right there, so Jay has an opportunity to walk it up now, not under any pressure, a lot of players floating back, this is a three on three right now, trying to look for it, swag, oh. but the stop and the stun does guarantee that this opportunity will be wasted for now, Kung with the recovery sends it over to, I believe that was a looking for game, but swag or now finding this and sending it down to Mozzie, and Mozzie looking for the clear here, does get it through. This one through here, uh, Ignite, still scoreless here, over two minutes into this first round. They will collect on this one. Also, I want to pull up, uh, uh, where are my stats? So they are shots taken, only two to three. In fact, Ignite has taken two shots in this game, and they haven't made either of them. Uh, only, uh, and that's two saves on the board to the Austin Burners. So the Austin Burners defense is doing a lot of heavy lifting in this game. Speaking of game, in possession now, sitting sort of to Kong, look at it, the 1v1, no, gets stunned out, gets a shot off before the stun comes in. And I collected there by somebody. I think that was Jay Walker. Oh, no, there's the opportunity. Game is shot off the Ooh. post. Are you kidding me? That's out of character. Swag War gets it picked up, cleared out. They're going to have a chain race for this one. Stacks in the area. Nobody getting on it. It will ultimately be, ooh, good play there by Jay Walker. Somehow getting that one picked up and cleared out. But into the hands of Mozzie. 
Yeah, and now Mozzie able to walk this one up, not under any pressure, sends it over to the law, the law, back to Mozzie, Mozzie with a shot. And my, oh my, this game is unexpected. It is 5-0. Up two goals to the side of the Austin Burners. This is ridiculous. And I, I just got to mention this because I'm seeing this all over. The stuns are so critical for the side of the Austin Burners here. They're getting so many stuns on Ignite that typically we don't see and are slowing them down so much as Ignite look for their offense here. And uh, that that prediction poll is almost done. We're up to, what is that, 9, 80, 91? Uh, we're actually just over 100. But now's the time to throw, your, to throw your channel points at the Austin Burners in the poll. Throw them all. Throw them all at the Austin Burners. You're going to go. Uh, people are going bankrupt tonight. Let's see it happen. Is this one's going to get sent in there? It will be collected by Jay Walker on the far side. Three and a half minutes. Ignite has been scoreless here in this first round. Kong wants to bring that one in. Sends it a shot. Swag War shuts oh. it down. Sends it out. That's a good defensive chain there, but that is loose. Swag War looking to chase this one down. Ride in the area. It will be in the hands of Chrome instead. Chrome into the tube. S excuse me. Sends it into the tube. Caught now on the near side. Tra trap a slap in. That one's going to be wide of the goal. The Bounce though, Mozzie in the area Whoa. is against Jay Walker. Jay Walker will get that slap to the far side while they're Kong in the area. Under pressure by Swag. Where good grab Chrome. Oh. Chrome on the back line is gonna get that one stopped up. Looking to send it in, does send it in. Will be in the hands of Mozzie. Mozzie pocket pick there by Ryan, who's turning this one around for Ignite. Yeah, now Ryan sending this one out, but the stacks are from Austin Burners are there first. They're just first to the disc every time now. As now this pass will not be good. It will be intercepted here by game. The pick up here by Ryan. Ryan trying to send it over. Cannot find the teammate. Does have Jay now, but Jay under pressure has to just slap. Gets it to game. Eventually game looks for the shot. Game places it in and that people that is four and a, over just over four and a half minutes in before Ignite got their first goal in this game. That is absolutely ridiculous defense here by the side of the Austin Burners. Almost unprecedented by basically any team. Uh, in in this league and even in this season, in the past few seasons. Now, Mozzie handling this one, sends it over to the law. The law gonna send this one through all the way down to Chrome. Chrome forwarding this one up and now Swag handling it on the side. Looking for the reset, does opt for it, has Mozzie right there. Yeah, Mozzie handling this one. Far side, pulling game out, sending this one across. Good bounce. I don't, that barely did not, got that bounce. They're gonna bring this one in. Mozzie off the backboard, off of the post. That could have, that, that had a chance. As this one is going to be sent out there by Kong, collected by the law. The law wants to send that shot in, does not have the lane. He sends that one across. Mozzie has to collect it there under assault by game. Still gets a tap to Chrome. Chrome gets that one up. Somehow they are still in possession. Although only as I say it, this one does get turned back around. Kong looking for that clear out, does get it to Jay Walker. Jay gets it cleared. They have the chain out. They're going to have an open goal opportunity. They do not miss these. Hitting it for the three. Ignite have tied it up. Yeah, perhaps after the initial shock of being uh, a little ice cold coming into it. Ignite has certainly warmed up and have looked to tie this game up. So uh, the Austin Burners have got to start making some offense here. We know how fast this Ignite is, can get the points rolling in. Uh, they can mercy almost at a moment's notice. Now that pass will not be good. Mozzie able to still recover this one after stunning out the stack, but cannot get the reset. So game handling it. Game looking for the pass. It finds Jay. Jay has one man up in the bubble. Pops to take the shot himself. The law what? with the save. What a grab. He read it just as he was floating it over to the other side. But the reset here to come will guarantee that Ignite keep it in their possession. Yeah, that was that was a pretty unbelievable stop there uh, in the goal. But yeah, Ignite still in possession here. Three and a half to go in this first round. We're tied up five to five. This is probably one of the lowest lowest scoring Ignite games we've had all season, at least so far. That one sent in nice on the play. Swagmore, unbelievable, another big one. Ryan sending up it across, that one gets sent in by Jay Walker, will hit it for the two. They finally get that one in, but th the number of unbelievable stops we have seen here from the Austin Burners is just, just beautiful. Uh, they're only registering five saves on the goal, but a couple of them are gonna be registered as steals, interceptions, or whatever else. Uh, just beautiful plays there from Austin Burners on defense. They're absolutely ridiculous. The number of shots or opportunities that they've stopped alone just by getting these steals and these saves is... It's got to be more than the shots themselves practically. Oh no, that's an open lane! Oh, oh Mozzie! Oh, you almost did it! He almost got it, but now the law, the law of the opportunity looks at the backboard. Actually, it's Mozzie right there. Oh, no! My. The stuff here from Jay. I'm now trying to send it out through the tunnel. Can't quite get it all the way through, so it will just float their swag with a nice oh, anger. Oh, oh. Guarantees himself the disc, resets it now to the law, and they are still in possession of just under over. Oh, oh no. great grab there from Jay. Jay, look for the shot. It is high. Will not go in game looking for the three. Just have it right there. Set up for him by Jay. 
I'm the backboard. So now a five point lead to Ignite. Yeah, Ignite starting to push away with this one. Uh, it's only two goals, but they have now gotten 10 unanswered points here. Austin Myrna took that 5 0 lead. And since then, uh, once Ignite started scoring, it has been all Ignite since then. As uh, Ignite now up in shots taken, 11 to 7 currently. It's Austin Burners with the possession here. Sending this one in. That bounce is not going to happen this time. It's this one now reset there to Kong on the back line. Chrome, though, gets a stun. This one's going to be loose for a moment. Recovered by Ryan on the near side. Ryan wants to send it through, but the law is there on the other side of this tube. And there's a steal there. Chrome gets it. Trying to send that one out awkwardly off of the popcorn block there, but somehow Swagwar coming away with that one. Swagwar up to Mozzie. Mozzie wants to bring that one in. Is that going to cut over to Chrome? And they're going to hit it. Kong gets the credit for it, but Chrome got the shot. Austin Burner's back with the three with just over a minute to go. And you can tell that they are hyped. Mozzie dancing around Chrome there at the end of that shot. They're ready. They can feel it. They are not letting the momentum of Ignite get to them. They want to take the first round and try and make something happen. So now, uh, handled here by Ignite, sent down to Jay. Jay looking for this one across to Kung. Has him right there, towards it through into that blue zone. So now that stack from Ignite is able to collect the disc. Hops for the passing play here with a nice cycle around the side of the arena. Finds game on top of the ceiling there. Sorry, Ryan on their game, finding Jay on the backboard. Jay looking to go and get the ender, but a great stop there from Swag once again into denial. And now this one's sent right back out. This one's all the way down. Oh, Opportunity oh. here. They need a three though. They cannot afford to put in a two. I mean, there's technically time, but they need a three. Uh, the awesome burners do. Uh, they need to force this overtime. Uh, this game is going to send. That's a shot. They're going quite low here. 24 seconds. Jay Walker, far side, has to track this one down. It's going to be a race for it here. Jay does get there first. Backing this one out to that far side wall. 18 seconds. Sending it down. Unfortunately, it's off the mark. It will be read there by Chrome. Chrome is going to get this one sent out into the hands of the law. The law with it. Look at it. Send it down. This one's all the way down. Overshooting is that Ignite chain into the bubble. Will be picked up by game five seconds ago. Game just needs to get this one cleared. Does get it out. That's going to end the first round here. Uh, uh, excuse me. Ignite will be taking it 10 to 7 narrowly. Uh, JG, what did you see? I just have to say, what a first phenomenal match. Um, for the side of the Austin Burners, they had that five point lead. It took uh, Ignite four and a half minutes to get their first goal. It took them at the four minute and 10 minute mark to tie it up and the 315 mark on the clock to get their first point advantage. We, we haven't seen that a lot since, uh, since really recently. So you gotta notice that that has been huge. Speaking of huge, Swag and Law have made some phenomenal save it, saves, especially not just like long three-pointers. It have been close shots that have been saved by uh, mostly Swag. Swag is just cruising along, just uh, looking all dapper, getting these great saves. But I think what really made uh, the Austin, Austin Burner struggle was having the disadvantage. I think Ignite has a huge, huge, huge... Uh, advantage when it comes to uh, to offense when it comes to disc, disc advantage and uh especially to all the points that were made by the austin well, burners they again. made a lot of resets and those resets helped them so much but it's back to you guys second round let's see how this is going to be played out uh, second round underway both teams in the tube is going to be launching out here so ooh, we're actually going to get a timeout that oh Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're not supposed to be taking timeouts in that time frame. That's actually pretty sure they just added that rule as well. Uh, somebody checked me on that, but I'm pretty sure there's now a rule. Uh, either that or, or uh, you know what? It might not be uh, against the rules technically, although if it's determined to be uh, malicious, maybe. Uh, but I think now that somebody basically just used their technical timeout uh, is what that ultimately means. And uh, especially when that was hit, that's uh, during, that's yeah, absolutely during a uh, somebody's uh, countdown into the tubes. Is it, we're not getting a restart. They're going to go ahead like this. Sorry, we're back underway. There's going to be less than three seconds. One second, in fact. Wow. And we're launching out here. Uh, are we going to get a reset? No, it's going to be a headbutt there from Ignite. And Ignite bringing this one in. Handled there by a game. Game sending this one across to Ryan. Ryan sends it in. Big stop there, the oh, law. Okay. Great start to this round. Big stop by the law. But Kong's going to have it here just to, to turn it around for Ignite once again. 
Yeah, and now they turn around Ryan resetting to Jay, Jay over to Kung. So they, they're they being forced to cycle this disc a lot. Uh, now trying to get the pass, Mozzie with the stop in the bubble. Knows exactly where that one was going, even though it was Snake Eye. Now the law with the recovery. Now just gonna dance around, waiting for his team to get down the field. He doesn't wanna push this too far because he knows he doesn't have man advantage. Gets it up to Mozzie, Mozzie loves that spot, the shot. No, Kung was right there in the goal with the stop. So now this one all the way down back into that blue side. Picked up here easily by Jay with no one to contest. He takes the three and puts Ignite up in the second round. So Ignite will get that first goal there. 50 seconds in, quite a bit faster uh, than the uh, the four and a half minutes from round one. Ignite going up by three here. Austin Murder's gonna find themselves on the Joust advantage in the first minute here. Well, just after the first minute. As the Austin Burners uh, coming out here, a slap down to, there to mid. Chrome with it, sends it over to Swag. Swag back to the law there. And law, oh no, giving it right away. Jay Walker locks shot. Oh. That's going to be on. 33 meters out, no hesitation. Jay Walker, well, hits it. He hits those. <laughs> Indeed, he does. And yeah, uh, there's nothing more to say than an incredible shot. I, I, I've lost my words because. Uh, long half court mail slots always baffle me. <laughs> uh, as now the law handles this one, sends it over to Mozzie. Mozzie forwarding this one on nice relay play here. Has swag right there. So two on one, looking to stun the goalie. Can't quite get oh. the shot though, as it's low and off the post. This one picked up here by the side of the law after uh, the stun. So has swag down below. Swag looking past the Mozzie, but little too much passing as Jay does get the stun and turns the disc over. Game now handling this game with a long three. <gasps> oh, just off the barrier, but Mozzie gets the stop anyway and now sends this out. This one cleared once again by Austin Burners. They do get it by the, excuse me, the backliner there, but Kong will get it picked up. Kong sending it out as he gets stunned out. Hits the lip of the tube. Game is there to get the pickup. Game has the lane, gonna go ahead and take the shot. Once again, the chain gets there, the wall gets a grab, sending this one back out to mid, where Mozzie will get it picked up. Mozzie also does not have the lane, so we'll start walking this one up. Soft toss back there to the back line, gets it right back though. Little give and go to get by the defense. Mozzie looking to bring this one in, setting the cross up, hits Chrome, Chrome gets it in for the two. Awesome burners are on the board here, three minutes in. Yeah, good response there. They drag the eyes of the goalie down to Mozzie because he's such a lethal shooter and they don't notice uh, Chrome on the cut and gets it right to him. So beautiful execution there. Now we are looking for the setup here from Ignite. A game on the ceiling. Once again with Ryan on his back, finds Jay. Jay looking to get it right to that stack. A little bit over, or a little bit undershot on the, uh, the stack there, but able to recover regardless. Has come right there on the cut. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. The, sw the swing around reverse windmill dunk. Ridiculous from him. The loop swoosh and pull? Is that what it's called? It. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> loop swoosh and pull. What's that from? Is that from Big Daddy? Oh no. I think it is. Uh, the law sending it over there. Chrome. Chrome back right back to the law. Law now into the tube. Chat, cut it out. Swag. Sending it across. Fozzy. Sending it in. Swag has to juke around that chain. That chain is still together, but they're... Oh, boy, nice cover there. The law. Sunned out, still gets it to Mozzie. Ooh. Set up. Swag Ooh. looks for the no-look. Doesn't connect. Will be collected Ooh. there. There's another. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. It's changing every single hand in the area. Kong gets it sent out. It's caught in the trap nearby. Picked up by the law. Wants to send it in. No, loses it. That's a nice cross pass there. They still don't have an empty lane, though. Chrome has to get it back to the law's Chrome is sideways gang right now. The law sending us put in. will be in the hands of Mozzie. Mozzie crossing one Ooh. more time to Swag. Where we get sent out by the goalie. Disc is loose. Will be the game with the touch, but it's still not out. Tracking it down will be who is that? Uh, I don't know, but it's not the law on the back line. Yeah, so now uh, looking for the pass options, gets it to them. So now uh, the pass up here to the ceiling. Mozzie has control of the disc, but not for long. If he holds on to it for too long, gets the pass over to Law. Law backboard, Swag War. Swag War oh. doesn't miss this one. He solidifies that too. And now back to that four point deficit here for the side of the Austin Burners. They are still fighting in this one and are looking to try and convert here. Uh, and certainly, they were able to handle the disc so well, even after a couple of missed shots, they still keep it in the offensive zone and are able to execute eventually here with about half the game left to go. Now Jay Walker with it here near side. Sends it through. Gets it through to game. Game getting Chrome stunned out. Chrome did not look happy about that. This game sends it across to Kong. Kong bring it in. One more pass there. They just cut through that defense like, like a hot knife through butter. Ignite's going to go up by six here. That was just a beautiful play. 
and so fast too. You know, occasionally teams will take a little bit longer to set up a play like that, but they're just able to do it so quickly that not only does the defense bamboozle, but they have no time to recover. So now uh, the law are going to take this one and send it down to Chrome and Chrome just handling this one down in that trench area. Ops for the pass up into that tunnel where Mozzie sits. Mozzie looking around, able to walk this one up as he's not under any pressure. Finds the law on the back line, sends it down to uh, Swag War here. Swag getting it back up to Mozzie. Mozzie with an opportunity as the goalie's not down. Ooh. Finds it right there in that top ish pocket area. So again, that four point deficit. And now you can see that. Austin Burners are finding their ways into this Ignite defense, which is huge for them uh, coming down the stretch here in the second round. It, yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, back with them four again here. It's Austin Burners. They just they need to capitalize on uh, some Ignite mistakes. They need to force a mistake, and then they need to capitalize on that mistake. As this one's sent across here in the tube, Kong is not able to. That's exactly what we're talking about. Oh, no. Jay Walker gets her first long shot. Empty goal off of the corner. And back out, game gets it here near side. Defense is returning to the bubble, but only a couple of them game. Oh, a shot there. It was either a shot or a setup. I'm not sure, but it's going to be the chain there that was just getting back. Swag War gets it, sends it out. I see some Ignite players getting into the area first. Will be picked up by game. Game under assault by Chrome. Gets it across there to Ryan on the far side. Ryan looking for the clear. That's good. Excuse me. The send up to Jay Walker in the far side, too. Jay ducking one. That was dirty. Gets, over, gets it over to Kong. Kong to game. Game sends it in. Hits it for the two. And Ignite's back up by six. Yeah, and it's so interesting because you can see that Ignite is... I mean, Ignite does this to basically everyone, but they're forcing the law to play so far back. Uh, if he can't guarantee that the disc is down in the field and in his teammates' hands, he has to play right next to the goal the entire time just to cover that lane and make sure that they can't get scored on with that three because Ignite is so legal with their shooters. Now this pass up to Mozzie is looking good, like a good opportunity. Uh, cannot find that extra pass in the pack, so... Uh, it is a turnover here, back in the hands of Jay. Jay going to walk this one up through the tunnel, has the shot, lane, looks for it off the nugget. That one block always gets in the way of those long tunnel threes, it feels like. But now Mozzie handling this one, sends it deep in to that orange side, just off the other block. So collected here by Swagboard. Uh, the slap is not quite fast enough, so it will be picked up here by Ignite. Jay forwarding this one all the way into... Actually, not all the way into as now. Uh, it is only now just picked up by game. Oh my, did he just enter two people? That is ridiculous. Uh, and handled on the ceiling here by the aforementioned person. Game, game over to Jay. And oh. Jay uh, going uncharacteristically high with that shot. Uh, and now flicked out here by the side of the Austin Burgers. That's one collected by Kong there on the back line, sending it back in. Will be collected by game. Game crossing it up. Less than two minutes to go here. Still a six point game. I mean, that's only three threes. Uh, Austin Burners are still in this. If they can just get this uh, back and. Uh, uh, you know, they, they almost had they had an opportunity, an empty goal earlier. They just, the, the clear in uh, happened, hit that star block, but still in possession is Ignite. As they're going to let this clock run out. Kong sending it to game. Game sending it right back up to Ryan. Ryan looking to get this one into Jay Walker. Jay Walker pulls the goalie out. Shot there will be in for the two. Ignite will go up by eight here with a minute. Only got about a minute five on the clock. A minimum of three goals required from Austin Burners. Not technically out, but against Ignite. Hmm. Mm. It's tough, that is for sure, Dimly. Like you were talking about before, um, you know, Ignite is just, Ignite's tough. There, There's a reason that they're at the very top of the top here uh, in North America. Now this disc is actually in the hands of Chrome after taking a couple fortunate bounces. Swag war, but no, oh. my goodness. King Kung back at it again with another stop. Chrome sends this over to the law. The law looking for something, anything points. Oh. No, can't find it off the post. And now this one gets sent back through by Ignite. The Austin Burner stacks will be there first. So Swagboard to collect and send this pass over to the Law. The Law is just going to dance around. Has the pass up to Mozzie. Mozzie with a one on two. Ops for the reset instead. Yeah, now that we're past that 40 second mark. Nice play there from Chrome. Uh, this round will be in the hands of Ignite. It's Swagboard sending oh, it in. Oh. oh, a couple opportunities there. The Law will ultimately get it in. I thought it was Mozzie. It's the Law. I'm not sure how that exchanged it. That exchanged every single hand in the area before it goes in. Uh, is that going to be a last goal? Probably. We only have about two and a half to three seconds to go here. Uh, Ignite will be taking the second round. Shout out to Oliver Ending. Thank you for the uh, the excuse me the tier one sub there. Uh, we always a great we all we always appreciate those. We greatly appreciate them as well. As uh, game is going to do a little dance there on the ceiling. Uh, let uh, the awesome burners know who won. And uh, we all we all know game. We're all aware. Uh, and it might be, uh, well, that might be the last time you see a game of the season, but that's all we're going to say about that as we are going to go to JG on the sideline.
JG, how about that victory? Okay, so one thing I will point out right away is that the first round for Ignite or Joker back, because I've noticed that a lot more, is that the first round is more or less their warm up. The second round is a lot more mercies do come out. I mean, we've we have seen uh, first round mercies from Ignite slash Joker, but I would say is that uh, for the side of Awesome Burners, they still have a chance. I think that they are one of the top competitors against Ignite because they can still put up a hell of a fight when it comes to this uh when it comes to the second round first round and potentially a third round if we do see that again but um there's one point that i wanted to make at the beginning law could have easily have made a uh he was in milf midfield and he could have easily have made a shot uh and or well not a shot but and or try to clear it out from mid to ignite side but he did it he took he took their time uh took their time and just went with it and just try to find the connections which you know especially for ignite they are wicked fast uh, when it comes to plays and especially they like you wouldn't normally expect that but apparently uh they took their time and it was monumental but uh i gotta give shout outs for uh awesome burners because their recoveries were phenomenal they were inside a bubble when they missed they've still made a shot and have come back um but i i feel like awesome burners have the best opportunity when they're inside a bubble because when they're inside a bubble that hive mind inside of them just starts to go wicked but um yeah around the minute and a half uh mark uh when they got the goal to make it 14 to 6 that's that kind of put the seal on uh to finish up the game but still awesome burners have come a long way as uh an epa team and have done a phenomenal job and i can't wait to see what they do um uh, especially in the finals i can't wait to see how this is going to be played out because especially with these nepa teams there's going to be a lot of intense action but uh yeah i it's still what a game and even though i wasn't i uh wasn't casting i was so excited i wish i could say so much but yeah back to you guys yeah it's a fantastic game there it was of course uh, ignite and awesome burners last games of the season so uh we get to look forward to seeing them again in two weeks, just over two weeks in the finals. Both these teams will be in the finals. Uh, but Gleed, I mean, that was that was a, that was a fantastic game. You know, uh, Austin Burners really really gave us some looks at uh, at a potential uh, upset there, particularly in that first round, uh, starting with that 5-0. I I really enjoyed uh, what we got to what we got to see there tonight. Absolutely, it's not often that we don't see ignite either mercy or at least go up by some magnitude of you know double digit points here but i uh, often <laughs> austin burners held them in both rounds here to less than that double digit deficit so and keeping them honest keeping them on their toes you could see that they really challenged them and that ignite you know maybe have a threat you know, a possible threat coming up here in the next two weeks they have time to prepare everyone's been looking at this ignite team for for what practically a year or two now trying to figure them out and now maybe it's coming to a head so uh we shall see coming up here in the near future so with all that said uh yeah we're gonna get out of here of course uh, channel two is actually just starting on uh one more game there starting i think starting right now uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna raid channel two uh so uh as we uh, count down to that uh make sure you click that button and join us over there on channel two uh i've been Monsi and we that was lean also jg on the sidelines for this one and we had solar p earlier on as well and uh, so much for solar p on the cameras for all three tonight we thank you very much for joining us we will see you in the next one and we will see you over there on channel two Bye bye Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and Pro2VR.